Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to send email from SSIS package. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how we can send the number of records loaded to the SQL server table after execution of the SSIS package. So the email notification is a very important part in the SSIS package. So normally when an SSIS package starts, then we send an email that the package has been started and ideally after the completion of the SSIS package, it should send another email that the package has been completed so that we know that the package has been completed successfully and in case if the package filled, then normally we send the email as well that the package has been filled and we send the actual error message as well. So in this particular video tutorial, we will send two notifications, one notification when the package will start and another notification when the package will be finished and like how many records it has loaded. So let's jump to the demo. So this is a very basic SSIS package. When it executes, it cleans a table, email table, and then it loads the data from a CSV file into the email table. So if I show you the first task, the execute SQL task. So what we are doing here that if the email table will exist, then it will drop the email table and then it will recreate the email table. And then in next task, in the data flow task, we are simply reading the data from this CSV file into the SQL server table and the SQL server table name is email. So this is what we are doing here. So if I go back to the SSMS and show you this is the email table. So at the moment the table is empty. And now let me execute the SSIS package. So it should load 1000 records from the CSV file to the SQL server table. So if you see here 1000 records have been loaded. And if I go back to the SSMS, then you can see that there should be 1000 records in the table. Yeah, so 1000 records have been loaded. Now I want to add the notifications to this particular SSIS package and I want to use the Gmail SMTP server. Okay, I have created another video like how to configure the Gmail SMTP server and I will share the link in the description of this particular video. So if you don't like how you can configure it, then you can configure using that particular video. So I have already written some code which can send the email notification. So let me do one thing that let me just drag and drop the script task into the control flow window and I can call this particular script task that package started. All right, now let me right click and configure this particular task. Click on edit script so that it can open the script editor for me in c .net language. All right, so the script editor has been opened up and now let me go back to this particular code and copy everything from here. And now I can paste it here, okay. All right, so it is giving few error messages because it is missing some namespaces. So I can click on show potential fixes using system.net.mail. Okay, and now I need to add system.net here using system.net. All right, so all the errors are gone. And now we need to configure this particular task. So in the first line, this is the email address from which the email will be sent. And this will be the name of the sender, that SSIS package notification. And this is the two email address. So I have given my email address here, apple33 at gmail.com. And I have configured this particular email address and created an app password for this particular email address. So I will share the link in the description of the video like how to configure it and now here we need to provide the password for this particular app. So I have generated a password here so I can copy the password from here and I can paste it here okay. Under host it will be smtb.gmail.com but inside the port number we need to give the port number is 25 and now in the subject of the email we can give the subject that SSIS package has been started. SSIS package has been started and inside the body we can copy and paste the same thing that the SSIS package has been started inside the body as well. Okay, so this is fine. So I think this is good. Now I can click on file and exit. So it will save the code for me. Now another thing is that we need to send the email on the package completion and uh, for that we need the number of records loaded as well so what we can do we can declare an ssis variable here records loaded and uh, the data type is in 32 so that's good so now i can close this one and i can go to the data flow task and here i can use the row count transformation so i can just drag and drop the row count transformation into the data flow task and i can connect the flat file source with the row count transformation and i can configure the row count transformation so I can select the SSIS variable here, records loaded, click OK. And then I can connect the row count transformation with the OLEDB destination. 
so when the data will be flowing from source to destination the total number of records will be inserted into the records loaded SSIS variable so I can go back to the control flow so I can copy this particular code from here and paste it here because I just want to do some minor modification to this particular code and so I can connect the data flow task with the package started and maybe I can call it as package completed and now what I can do I can copy the name of the variable from here and then I can just configure the script task inside read only variable I can paste the variable name here or you can select the variable name from here as well okay records loaded so that's fine so now I can click on edit script so that it can open the script editor for me so the script editor has been opened up and now what I can do so these things will remain same and I just need to change two things the subject of the email and the body of the email okay so inside the subject of the email we will write SSIS package has been completed so I can write completed here and then in the message body uh, we can write like records loaded and then the actual value like how many records loaded so I can put a plus sign here and then DTS dot variables and the name of the variable close the bracket dot value dot to string okay and I will share this particular code with you like the code to send the email in the beginning of the SSIS package and the code to send the email in the completion of the SSIS package so we have configured the script task here now I can go to the file menu and click on exit and now I can click on ok so this will save the code for me alright so we have finished adding the code here and now I can click on start button and can execute this particular SSIS package so the package is running so it has sent an email in the beginning and then it dropped and recreated the SQL server table loaded the data and sent another email that the package is successful so now I can open my email address so now you can see that I got two email the first email I got at 8.24 am and the second email I got at 8.25 am after one minute so if I open the first email so in the subject it is written that SSIS package has been started and the same is written in the message body as well and if you check the second email so in the subject it has written that SSIS package has been completed and in the message body we have written the records loaded and the actual number of records loaded so if the number of records in the flat file will change then this value will also get changed so I think this is a good example like how you can add the notifications freely inside your SSIS packages because you don't need to use any other SMTP server you can use the Gmail free SMTP server and I will share the link in the description of the video like how you can configure the Gmail SMTP server and I will share the code to send the email as well so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video thank you so much